Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, El Diablo Mancano. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So, we are jumping back at it into some Alan Wake. And if I remember correctly, we're still running around in the National Parks. Yeah, the National Elderwoods Park. Oh, I can change my over the can. Oh, well, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. I, didn't, I had no idea I've been playing this game this entire time. But anyways, welcome back, guys. Hope you're having a great one. Uh, we're still running around in the... Uh, what's it called? We're still running around the park. Uh, we're trying to go find the guy who kidnapped our wife. And, um, we're, well, we'll see how this we'll see how this adventure goes so far. Um, I still had to reach oh. Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Okay, well, that was easy. Sweet. That was easy. Um, let's see what we got here. More Volver, perfect. I hope I don't need any more batteries. Sweet. But so, um, I'm sorry if, for those of you who've been like watching my videos. I didn't post anything last week. It was a very rough, very rough time at work, and so I just did not get a chance to post anything. And, um, yeah, no, so I'm back here. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm still a little tired tonight, but that's okay. That work's been kicking my ass. That's kind of how it goes. No parking anytime. I have to go back to Barry. So I have to go find Barry and wash and find the bathrooms. Uh, well, I can't get one of these. Oh god, what's in here? Oh, garage keys. Ooh. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. Oh god, these are so weird. Uh, I still don't know why my head pop up in the you can TVs. It, shape I it, it's going as insane. the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads <laughs> the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. Mm -hmm, a single mm -hmm. flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. All right, well, cool. Whoa. You can learn about nature and yourself. Hello. <laughs> well, might as well go check on the other side now, right? So we're in here. Um, but before we go do that, might as well just look around and check, make sure there's no other collectibles we'd missed, right? Tire swing. Oh, hey, look. Oh, I missed that. I'm glad I walked around. Uh, manuscript, perfect, F5, and anything good? Nightingale fires the FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. Hmm. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. So I'm going to find an FBI Shots agent, it sounds like. <laughs> I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Well, that's a, a bit of a spoiler alert, right? Okay, um... So I want to see an FBI agent. Alright, might as well just, just get over with. Where are you guys? Ooh. Creepy. And... Anything else? Alright, cool. I don't see anything else sparkling in the distance. And... Perfect. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Now let's get, unlock this. Wonderful to crash this truck as well. Alright. Oh god, how... Do I have to drive? Oh god, let's see how bad these drivingers are. Accelerate, steering. Goodbye. Oh, oh, leave my car alone. How are they still alive? Oh man. Oh these car these oh these car controls just wonky. Come on. It takes so long. Uh use the car lights. Leave me in trouble. Oh. I'm good. Oh, he's, how the hell is he still alive? And why does it take so long to drive back up? Come on, just... 
There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, here we are. I guess we're not going this way. Oh, we can go in and out. Okay. So that's nice. That's nice. Um. Get this other thermos. Man, I'm so not used to this control. Because I haven't, haven't touched this game in a while, I'm not used to these controls whatsoever. Um. Back to. Truck. Cool. All right, things are going well. Things are going well. Perfect. Ooh. Stop it. Oh wow, this is nice. Nice. Get out of here, boy. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Fuck you guys. Apparently online, I missed a, uh, I missed a chest back here. That's why I'm kind of like going, like, very hesitant. Alright, let's see here. People say there's a chest back here, so let's see if we can figure out where, it, where it's at. I don't fucking see anything. This game is collectible. It's, it's, it's kind of refreshing, I'm not gonna lie. I give up. I don't know. I'm done. Oh, my car is like. smoky. That's not good. No, I don't want my car to be all smoky. Alright, uh, just keep going. The screen looks so weird. The screen looks very weird right now, actually. It looks so fucking weird. Woohoo! Well, oh, that did nothing. Oh, these controls are so wonky. straight there. We're just going to go straight to Barry. We're just going to go straight to Barry. Like I said, this game is pissing me off. I'm not, I'm not going to the stupid collectibles. Um... Oh, yeah, I was just here. I was just here. They killed the dog. The poor golden retriever dog they killed. It. Whoa. Alright. Well, I guess I'm not driving anymore. That's not good. All right, flare gun. Put the flare gun. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Oh yeah. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Stop it! Stop it! Man, they're like taking it. There we go. Ow, stop it. There we go. Whoa, hello. Come on, just fucking die. There we go, and boom. Boom. Oh god, he's just taking shots. There we go. There we go. Where the hell did you guys come from? 
Ah, no, stop it. God, fucking hell. Well, skirt was gonna run. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't, my guy doesn't, I can't, can't run. He's a fucking bitch. And run, Ellen, run. Where's to go save Barry? It was the kidnapper. Oh. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Yeah. Enough horseplay, wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Yeah. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. City boy. You'll get your wife. You city slicker. Ah, well, uh, get me. Yes. Yes, I, I get you. Oh, the, the fucker. That fucker. And about all the shit that's going on, that's what we're worried about. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. He did. Uh-oh. Save Barry from the birds. Ooh, flare gun. Flare. I don't remember how to use a flare. Is it a middle mouse button? It is middle mouse button. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, I just wasted the, I just wasted the flare. Ow! Ow! I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Okay. Uh, boss fight. <laughs> Against the birds. Whoa! Whoa! Fuck. There's no run. Is that all they're gonna do? What the hell? What the hell? What kind of boss battle is this? I see this bird slowly just dropping out of the sky. Get back here. Oh, stop it! Fucking hell. Oh. oh, hey, look. The chest is over here. How did I not see this like when I was first here? I think it says it's over here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Ah, fucking hell. Ow, make them go away, please! I love these fights. Scared of birds. What the hell is this? I don't even know what to say. Like, are you kidding me? This this will have to do. Get out of here, bro. That ain't good bird. Ow! Fucking hell! Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna use the fuck. I'm just gonna use the flares. These things keep pissing me off. What kind of gimmicky boss battle is this? I don't like this. Come on. Get out of here. Jesus Christ! This is such a gimmicky battle. Are you kidding me? Barry, you can open the door now. They're gone. Okay, good. Oh, fuck this one. Oh my God. Fuck that. What the bullshit hey, Al, is. I'm. I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. I appreciate it. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives oh. of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. I have to go wrap my sword while Barry's doing all this. The man wanted a manuscript. <laughs> so weird. I had to try to write him one to get <laughs> Alice back. No. Ah, no writer's block. For I me, can't save my wife. Always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. 
a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put God. a single word on paper. What a loser. All right, Barry, what do you got for me? Barry Something Wheeler good. speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live that in the trailer park That sounds so fake. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Well, Have that's a, a trap. Great day. That's a trap. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Oh Dear Diner. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh no, Rose. No, Rose. <laughs> I, I just have no words. I just have no words at this point. Come Alan in. Wake. Episode 2 is done. Can you tell me where? <laughs> you, say something? All right. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, yep. please help me. Alan, Alan, please help me. I can't tell anyone except my agent Barry. Damn it, Barry. Of all the people. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my oh, eyes. Oh man. Just the way it was on that page. So. Dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Ransom. Bum bum. How the bum. hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts all right. of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Let's go around. kill Rose. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. you oh, lovely. Come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. After I'm Let's done. Let's make this quick, huh? Doing this. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm Randolph. The manager. <laughs> what We're looking the fuck? for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to Do know? You don't know who I am? I'm, I'm Alan, Alan Wake. Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. How the hell do you not oh, know me? I'll show you her trailer. That road. Oh, he doesn't have a limp. Nice girl. Oh god, so we're gonna walk slow. Time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place right. is crazy. Disappearances, mm -hmm. mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, <laughs> most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Oh. Well, you ain't I thought it was going to be the Deer Festival. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. Woohoo! I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so there was what about an island What about island? a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, yeah. some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. Like but me. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, mm -hmm. so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, <laughs> and Zane went down with the island. As... All right, whatever. Where are we going, Randolph? Where the fuck are we going? Where the hell are we going, Randolph? Come on. Hurry up. God, you gimpy old man. Hurry the fuck up. We gotta go. It gets better. A local girl, oh, oh, you still got something to talk about. drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Ooh. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. <laughs> Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. Oh, All of the best about part? This stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What? The Cynthia lamp Weaver. lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Enough. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died. I wanted to bear if I all the shit out. Interesting. 
Where the fuck did I get? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there they are. There's Gimp. There's Gimpy. I'm coming, Gimpy. Alright, let's go, Gimp. Did you just go straight to Rose's place? Come on. I love how he doesn't say anything about, like, this broken boat. Because he's supposed to, because it's a collectible on the other side, according to the internet. Thank you, Google! Oh, God. Well, while well, he's slowly walking over there, because Barry's already at the door, we're going to just run around. And then someone said that there's a picnic table to the right. Yep, there's a collectible. I see it now. I'm going to grab that sucker. Sometimes, even though you... Even though I post shit on YouTube, but you need other YouTube videos and other people in there to help you out. Ah! I don't like. I don't like this. I just want to run. I just want to go. I just want to go run. I want to go shoot things. I want to go survive. Not play detective and knock on Rose's door. All right, well, Mister, this here's Rose's trailer. Thank you. You mind me asking what you want with her? What a gang We're just here to talk to her, pal. Yeah, fuck off, Randolph. All right, let's go find her. You can like see through that door. That is not a good door at all. Welcome to, to. Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript. So weird. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. <laughs> Weird. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My yes. manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. I need these drugs. Barry! What? What? <laughs> I'm drugs. How'd you guys not realize it? She was so weird. She was like acting so weird. <laughs> hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You not must Barbara. turn the lights on. Week. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You creepy must old lady. finish what you started. Creepy, creepy I old lady. Insist. You must turn the lights on. You must turn the lights on, Mr. Wake. Turn the light on. Hey, look, there's a TV. Back to work, boy. <laughs> creepy. She wants some of that bone, Mr. Wake. I felt nauseous, hung over. <laughs> Only anger kept me going. What the fuck? I can't tell reality from dream anymore. I'm more curious about that. I have an imaginary editor to help me. What the She's hell? She's a woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. Oh, hey, we're talking about her. Writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. <laughs> the edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less this of me is just like, this is I hate it, but I know she she's right. She looks like her own altar above her bed for me. She promises me. And look, this is my bad boy stance right there. Look at that. Oh yeah, bad boy. About the complex incantation <laughs> I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. But yeah, that one the dude. The genre story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. Uh oh. I'm getting close. Not a horror it. story. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, hey, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can no, I get you today? Rose. Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left oh, its mark. Poor Rose. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Get Barry. Would you like to hear Fucking today's Barry. specials? Thank you. A nice day. So what the hell? That's what soon. I thought I was supposed to go get Barry. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> Fat ass. 
<laughs> cute fat ass. All right. Deserve more money. <laughs> My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find nice. a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. In the dark, with crazy, creepy people. Uh, Randolph Mr. calls Randolph the police. Like Rose. Well, that's what happened. She had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. Uh -oh. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd mm -hmm. been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. God damn it. Fucking Randolph. You just said it wasn't their business. We could do whatever you want. Ugh. We're adults. So you want to have a gangbang with us? You could have. I don't know what's up with me and gangbang. I like that word. I, I've been saying that word way too much today. Hello? Is there anything in the trash? Maybe a gun? Give me something. Give me something, please. Uh, I guess not. That'd be way too much. That'd be too easy. Oh, hello. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. How's that one doing? I'm waiting for him to die. The weather's getting heavy. It's that gonna happen at some point. Especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, mm -hmm. punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, it's kind of rambling. Caller, who's the caller? Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, he sounds, he sounds like he's been drinking. <laughs> to make sense of it all, but, I ain't been drinking. It, it doesn't, I don't believe it. It sounds like he's been drinking. Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Uh oh, what, what happened to Walt? Uh oh, no, what happened to Danny? What'd you do? I'm just. Well, I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah, well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Danny's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here. This guy's just so weird on the radio. You don't just like randomly talk to people with them speak on the radio. I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. you know, something's gonna happen. So oh yeah. I gotta I gotta I think I better go. Yeah. Well Walt, maybe No, thanks, Pat. Well, Good luck what the to fuck? <laughs> uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's what the hell? Really something else. All right. What? Oh, that's the music. I was like, what the fuck? I right, so have to go. I'm sure I have to go to my car. Hey, I know you called the cops. Oh, you're gonna get it now. <laughs> what the fuck? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under uh -oh. arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. Did they just shoot him? Oh, I thought they shot Randolph. There's that bad Agent Nightingale. What the fuck? What are? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Is he gonna shoot Randolph? I, I don't know. I wonder if he's gonna shoot I Randolph. I needed to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Get <laughs> up, Mr. Wake! Come on! Take it easy! Don't let him get away! Well, goodbye. Move it! Move it! Move it! I'll have your chance if you let him get away. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Time to go run from the cops now, I guess. I didn't realize you're playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Fucking Randolph. I didn't do jack shit. What a fucking asshole. 
Oh god. Alright. Whoa, stop it. Stop it, leave me alone. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent, I tell you. Oh, ow. Oh, fuck, ow. Damn. Jesus. You think they'd be like... I don't know, like... Normally this is like some sort of stealth mission. Alright, come on, Wake. Ooh. I come up here now? There we go. Man, like... Is it... What is that? Oh, it's a manuscript. Okay. I'm gonna just drop down. Scott! Come on, guys! We need to head him off! <laughs> I need a gun. Manuscript page. Okay, more curious about what's going on with the For decades, cops. the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. Uh huh. It was hungry and in pain. I don't, I don't care about that. I care about Agent Nightingale. That's all I care about. Its writing had called it from the depths and given oh. a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock I don't care about any of this. <laughs> the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. All right. When it sensed the writer on the ferry. It opened its eyes. Poor Barbara Jagger. Got controlled by the darkness. And now there's more darkness and I don't have a goddamn flashlight. I don't got a gun, I don't have anything. And Whoa! Darkness! Anything. How the fuck am I a fugitive? If I do see another manuscript, I'm gonna grab this sucker. Alright. Rose, Rose oh, that's what I'm curious. That strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation uh, creepy, of a creepy smile Barbara and Jaggers, or whatever her name is. Cheek. Pretty girl, she said. <laughs> pretty. Rose felt as if she was falling. She, sounds like something from the Wizard of Oz. I'll get the you, my pretty. Her words ice cold, and your little writer too. The fuck. Like this game, just like this is like all kinds of wrong. So, I don't have a fucking gun. <laughs> oh well. Checkpoint reached. Let's keep going. Ooh. The fuck? What are they shooting at? Alright, guys. Just don't look up. I wonder if they're gonna get attacked. This way. I make sure. I just wonder if they're gonna. Get... What? Goodbye, guys. <laughs> it's not stopping. Not Andy. <laughs> God. What the fuck is going on? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Oh god. Oh, and look, there's another crash cop car. Are you kidding me? Is that wearing a tweed jacket? He's the guy we're chasing. If it's not him, who then? Bigfoot? 
Oh, I'm getting blamed for all this shit. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. That's just lovely. <laughs> I think sure it's heavy way to fucking tweed jacket. <laughs> oh, now they're sending the cops after me. Now it's the real coppers. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Not the birds. Anything but the birds. Did, they, did the birds just take down a fucking helicopter? <laughs> yes, they did. Oh, I bet they're gonna blame me for that too. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh, perfect. Maybe we'll get a gun finally. And then I'm gonna fight more monsters. The only thing that's nice is they haven't thrown monsters at me while I've been doing this. Use. Zoom. They're alive. Maybe. Probably not. I don't think I have to look anything. All right. And, ooh, hey look, I saw something. Ha ha ha. They'll use that radio. Come on, grab it. Here we go. Does this give me anything? Uh, this is Jane, Mulligan, Thornton, come in, over. Uh oh. At, at Thornton here, uh, Gates, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why uh oh. You, hey, what, what are you doing? Come on. Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. What the fuck? Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him. You know what I mean? Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. I don't have anything on that. Uh, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. Yeah, you better get that's right, because she got drugged up by the darkness. Over. Over. Gotcha. Poor Rose. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet he does. Oh, God. Looks like they have a lot in common. All the count. <laughs> oh, and I just fucking left Barry. Bye, Barry. <laughs> oh man, I fucking love that. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Oh, probably that one. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. All right. All right. Alrighty. Um. <laughs> so after watching a bunch of cops just like fucking die, not the darkness. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. <laughs> oh, hey, look, there's another thermos. What <laughs> so convenient. I love how my guys are so obsessed with my fucking coffee. Um, I think this is the generator. Yep, here it is. And one, two. There you go. Alright, we're gonna fuck this darkness up. Give it some power light. Use. I don't think that's how light works, but you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> destroy the gates. I also don't think light can destroy fucking gates, Alan Wake. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Poor fucking bear, it just left him in the middle of the- and left him passed out with throws. Whoa. And it's gonna destroy another gate, it looks like. 
Ooh, flashlight. That's convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that it? It's literally all they're giving me. My fucking flashlight. And this is bullshit. How do I keep losing every fucking weapon I get? Come on, Alloy. Okay, take it. Just fucking get out of here. Like I said, it's, I don't think that's how. I don't think light can destroy a gate. But it is what it is, I guess. And. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Uh-oh. Poor Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale's just an asshole. Alright. Ooh, so flashbangs. You have the right to permit. Oh! Nice! Oh, that's awesome! Fuck yes! Oh! Oh, ow! Stop it! Get out of here. Sit down! I got more of that where that came from. Actually, phrase, I have four more left of the, where it comes from. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, save Haven. Come on, Daddy needs a save Haven. I'll take it. And here's another call. Pat. Alright, Pat Main, what do you got Pat for me? It's Milk Peabody, Pat. Uh oh. What's on your mind, Mill? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? <laughs> I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there. Lots How do you sirens, think you heard gunshots? Uh, you should know what the gunshots are. Around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? The hell? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door, and they're popping off guns there. Jesus. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Uh, this poor guy is just so, this poor Mill, poor Milt. Okay. Okay. You'll hear as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. All right, it's cool. But on that note, I think that actually is a good place to chill out and take it, take it easy for the rest of the night, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this another exciting adventure of Alan Wake. So we're still on the pursuit of trying to find our captured wife, and Barry and Rose just got kidnapped by the crazy ass Nightingale dude. So that's what the last that was what the uh this is what the manuscript from the last level was talking about. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, give that video a like. And if you have not done so already, click the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, so that way you can see any and all future videos that I post. This includes things like more Alan Wake videos, I do a Fallout New Vegas video playthrough, and also I put all my Twitch streams on there as well. So this is a great time to kind of jump on and again get to know me and things like that. On that, ladies and gentlemen, there's two places you can actually follow me as well. One is going to be Twitter, and that is going to be Mexicano underscore Diablo. So that way, that's where I post all my news. And so, if new like Twitch up, like Twitch updates, uh, YouTube videos, that kind of thing. Anytime, uh, that's going to be like how you get all my news updates. And then the other one is going to be on Twitch. You can find me at L underscore Diablo Mexicano. And I'll be posting that link in both links in the description below. On that, y'all, have a great rest of your week. Take it easy, guys. And again, I apologize about last week. I was, like I said, it was a bit of a hectic way at work, so I didn't get a chance to post anything. But I'm hoping that they'll, I'm hoping the rest of the week goes pretty smoothly. So I'll see you guys this Friday when I post another Fallout New Vegas video. All that, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy, take care, and have a great one. Peace.